Welcome visitors and subscribers to Monet Cafe. It's like our happy place where we can share and learn in art together. This latest painting is called Praising Poppies and I'm going to be giving you some instruction on my technique for this. It is available for sale as original and products so if you're interested just see the end of the video. Now I'm doing kind of a similar technique that I did in my last video. I'm using Daler Rowney acrylic inks. I will be showing a picture of them up close in a minute. That was my little tray that I used to put them in and then I just use alcohol uh, and a little container and a and it's kind of a stiff bristle brush. I like kind of an old brush. Now here are the Daler Rowney acrylic inks. They come in all kinds of various colors. Uh, the particular colors I'm using, uh, I will have it printed here at the bottom of the screen. I love combining these. They have such a bright, uh, luminescent quality. The reason that they work great for an underpainting is they don't fill up any of the tooth of the paper. By the way, this is UART paper. That was just my little tray. And I keep some paper towels handy. But UART paper is a sanded paper. And if you've been on my channel much, you know I, I pretty much lean towards pastel painting with various different techniques um, and underpainting um, with other various products. Um, but I love the UART paper. Um, it's a sanded surface which holds the pastel well, but it's really awesome to do these underpaintings like this. They really just start to set the mood they give you some beautiful color as a base to work with and uh, I really liked the combination of this uh, Indian yellow uh, with the the blues the turquoise color and the uh, green color together now I'm sorry I can't share the reference photo here I did get the reference photo off of a website called it used to be called paintmyphoto.com but they've changed the name to pmp.com and it's a great place to get reference photos I was on a poppy kick and I don't have any poppies where I live so that's why I needed to go to another source to find some free reference photos to use but I think one of their rules is not to share the person's photo in the video so anyway this is um, just my technique where where I'm using alcohol and I'm applying of course you were as you saw applying some alcohol combined with the acrylic inks it gives it that nice drippy runny moody impressionistic feel and the reason that I have the green where I do is in the reference photo um, that area was warm with sunlight and the other areas were a little bit uh, cooler now I taped this UART paper up at the top unlike my last video and I thought this would work better and it did. Um, the paper buckled a little when I had it all taped around all the edges so I blew it dry and it kind of straightened out then I just put a piece of tape at the bottom as you see. Now I'm just using a pastel pencil here to sketch in the poppies. I'm trying to keep a real spontaneous feel um, while still having a sense of where I want to lead the eye. I, I had an uh, idea to kind of cascade the poppies kind of coming up um, almost like in a curve and going up to the left. I love it how um, nature seems to reach towards the heavens and hence the title Praising Poppies. Here are my pastel selections and I typically group them in color families sometimes according to value but in this case I just wanted some of those pretty reds and coral type of colors um, along with some warm greens and some cool greens. And now I'm just getting started here um, and I'm basically just getting in this kind of there was in the background of the reference photo there's kind of like some dark trees real far away and then there was a, a pale area I end up just making that more of a sky in the background um, later but now what I'm doing is I'm getting in a darker value that's going to be more around where the where the flower stems and the grasses go down to the roots um, and it also will help to lead the eye where I want it to go. Now, if you've um, uh, been watching my videos often, um, you may notice that this one is really loose. I like a loose style, but this one's even uh, more loose than some of my other work. And the reason was I, I just was on an artistic roll. I had done one painting already. I had a few minutes before I had to make dinner. <laughs> and um, I said, oh, maybe I can just sneak in one more painting. So some of it was just the speed and some of it was just the moment. I just, it was just a beautiful moment to paint. And I know probably if you've been painting for a while, you know, there's just sometimes where it just feels right and it's just really a blessing. And that's what this one was for me. It just felt, I was just so thankful to be able to paint. Now, you can probably see here that if I was applying these pastels just on the white or the cream colored UART paper, 
it wouldn't have nearly the same glow and impact as this uh, beautiful underpainting with the acrylic ink. So, you know, maybe that makes sense now where you can see how it really does lead you towards a more impressionistic style, which I love. Um, now these poppies are coming to life and uh, bursting off the page. And I will mention here that something I'm striving to do more lately, and um, I'd like to share it with others because I think this is probably a goal for many people, is there is... Um, a way to maintain the freshness of a color. Like right now, do you see how bright those poppies are? Um, it's because that's a fresh layer of pastel on that. Now, if I was to continue to fiddle and fuss and, and make marks and cover up and try to refine, uh, I'm gonna lose that freshness. The pastel um, dust starts to get into the sanded parts of the paper and uh, eventually they combine to make more of a muddy color so there is a real knack to maintaining the freshness and color and the brightness of color but that is to literally not overwork your painting so i'm going to continue to work here and just enjoy the music and just the process of creation. It's such a beautiful thing that we can be together, even though most of us have never met and may never meet this side of heaven. I still feel like we share a lot together and I truly feel like you're my art family. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you learned something. And again, stay tuned to the end of the video if you'd like to see anything about this particular painting or purchase options.
so glad you were with me today while I created this lovely and spontaneously impressionistic painting. And again, if you would like to purchase products, prints, that the prints are, are beautiful from Fine Art America, various sizes. Um, they do a great job. The prices are reasonable. I happen to like this throw pillow. It's only $26. I like this 20 by 14 format. So click the link if you're interested in the original or any products. And always thank you for joining me. Happy, happy painting.